Karen, dos, uno. <risa> 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 Hello. Hello! Welcome to our channel, Mera Nam Magda He. Or Me Uvishal. And together we are Mexican, Mexican couple. couple. I should have said Soy Vishal. Yes, you should. Uh, soy Vishal. <laughs> <laughs> o me llamo. <laughs> me, me llamo With Vishal. <laughs> me llamo Vishal. <laughs> Amen. So today this video is a good video because we wanted to show you the similarities and the differences between the cultures, mm -hmm, the Indian, Indian culture Mexican. and the Mexican culture. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this video is from a animated movie uh -huh, and a trailer for a uh, for, for, uh, Coco. Coco. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, Coco is based on a Day of the Dead celebration in Mexico. Mm -hmm, that's right? correct. So, Magda, can you give us a little bit of detail about what it is? Well, the Day of the Dead is a celebration that happens every year in uh, the first and the second day of November. This is a, uh, a celebration that's been with us uh, for several, several, several years, millions, well, no millions, thousands, <laughs> thousands. <of years. laughs> from the Aztec time, <laughs> from the Aztecs, Toltecs, and other other ancient cultures, but evolved uh, by uh, the um, richness of, of the other cultures, uh, or the Spanish and the Catholicism. So now it has become a, a little bit different from the original, but the, it remains the main uh, uh, in, important characteristic, which is celebrating the dead. Is, is so it's different from mourning the dead. Is celebrating them because they come to visit you. Because in the in the Day of the Dead, what means to die is not what means in, in other cultures, but is uh, just a phase in in life. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's it's like the whole cycle. So death is part a natural part of exactly of life. Exactly. And, and interestingly, uh, I think this is very important to mention that. Um, it's actually been recognized as intangible cultural heritage uh, uh, f for the UNESCO. So it's, um, it's something very important. And, and, and additional to that, which I think is very relevant to mention, is that how it's celebrated, we use um, every house, put uh, an altar uh, where you put basically the most, and you can put several stuff, but mainly you put the picture of the person you put uh, water, a glass, uh, you put a candle and you put their favorite food because they come to feast, they come to eat that day they arrived and then they just go and they just pass through. And so it's a it's a very important day for all mm. of us. And even when we are abroad, we try to, to yes, keep we, the, the we, tradition. We, we try and do important. that. And I remember we did that. We were visiting Rajasthan mm -hmm. and uh, in, in November last year feels like a yeah. generation now, <laughs> uh, but uh, we, we managed to find candles and uh, some really nice food. And Magda's father actually loved traveling. So yeah. that would have been a perfect thing for him that we invited him in Rajasthan Rajasthan. to come and visit us yes. and see the glory <laughs> of Rajasthan. Um, so when I said that this is a similarity in, in Hinduism, it is similar because uh, Hinduism, death is not the end of life, mm -hmm. but just a phase of life. Mm -hmm. And in Hindus, we celebrate a period of 16 days, which is known as the Pitrapaksh or the Shrad Paksh, mm -hmm. where this happens. So your ancestors come to visit you, so you, you oh. worship them and, you know, they come, so you greet them, you know, so because in Hinduism or in Indian culture, effectively, Atiti Devo Bhava, so a guest is God, so you mm -hmm. worship them. So this is the same thing, your ancestors are coming and visiting. So exactly the same That's thing. That's very So this is a very big similarity between the two great cultures. Do, you, do you do something special that day? Uh, yes. The so, like you put an altar, do you cook something? Yeah, so we create an altar, we cook uh, puri and some other mm -hmm. food, and then... And the candle, I mean, no candles. Uh, so what we do is we have a yagya sort of thing so so we we've got a fire uh -huh. that we have oh. because fire is the essence it's effectively a doorway for hinduism mm. well in, in the uh, mexican tradition the candle is to give them light to they know where to go where to go to put to, an to anchor find, in, yes right? to find the way and that's what way. this movie says so nicely yeah. doesn't it so um i think we should watch yes. the trailer and then yes. discuss this further but i would highly recommend you guys to watch this movie this is a phenomenal movie very good animation we watched the movie a couple of years ago yes we watched but we never the watched part. the trailer so yes. we thought it would be really nice to to show it to you while discussing these differences and similarities absolutely so let's watch the trailer then mm -hmm. every year grandkids cousins pretty much everyone gets together even great grandma coco and the winner is I told her 
pretty much everything. I just went like this, but now I run like this. It's just way faster. Life sounds like Eat your food. Yeah, have some more. No, gracias. I mean, see? <laughs> <laughs> Never say no to ground. It's the one night of the year our ancestors can come visit us. I thought it might have been one of those made up things. I was just. But I. Night is about family. I am not like the rest of my family. There's something that makes me different. Great great grandfather, I want to be a musician just like you. Alright, do me that. I'm sorry. Welcome to the land of your ancestors. Miguel? We're your family. You're skeletons. You're alive. Ah, it's so nice. You gotta get home before sunrise, or you'll be stuck here for forever. Forever. Oh. Oh. Ah. He decided not to come. Sandal. That's very nice. You know, even when you have watched the movie, it's really, really awesome to see the trailers. Really exactly. enjoy it. It kind of encapsulates. You get all the memories of when yeah. you watch the movie. Yes. It, it was pretty sad. Uh, the movie. I mean, emotional. Not yeah, sad. Yeah, emotional. 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 And and uh, yeah, there were there were parts where uh, where uh, you were looking away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm too emotional sometimes. That's so what I say in one of the videos. You don't want to see me cry, but I cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so great movie. Really nice. Yes. It delivers the message. The important part is not the animation, but the message it's trying to deliver. And exactly. I wanted to mention that I'm not very fond on uh, uh, animated movies, to be honest. But... Uh, there are a couple of them that are really nice and this is very it, uh, apart from being funny mm -hmm. it, it really brings uh, up uh, how it's celebrated and what it the meaning of the day for for mexicans uh, this is exactly. really good and uh, one of the important thing is because it's animated and because it's funny it's gonna make the kids want to watch it as mm -hmm, well that's and true. that's how the kids in mexico would learn about their culture because yeah, that's correct um, yes. so so it, it does a lot of things right mm -hmm. so i think it's a good movie and i think anybody who wants to learn a little bit about mexican culture should probably watch this movie yes. it's it's a great um, movie which gives a lot of information. Exactly, that's what I wanted to say exactly. It's not only about the day of the day, it actually shows you about the culture uh, family oriented uh, these big tables to have food and, and meals and people speaking over the other Each person other, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's a normal thing or, or, or moving the hands and loud, that just that's the way we are and the other thing is about dogs. We are dog lovers in our Mexican culture in, in general in general. So you can see as well the, the, the figure of the dog in, That's the, in, the, in the movie. Yeah. It's really so nice. um, as we were talking about similarities, more and more similarities kind of come out together. That's family orientation. Mm -hmm. That is where exactly. it is. Um, dogs are also an integral part of Indian mm -hmm. culture. In Mahabharata, it was the dog who led the Pandavas to heaven. So well, there is a Mexico in Mexico. There is a belief with I. I imagine comes also from an uh, ancient cultures. Um, I'm not sure it's from the Catholic side, to be honest. I don't know how it originated, but it's so well known. Dogs is, is, are very important in our um, life because they help you to cross a river when you are going to the other side, when you're yeah. going to heaven, uh, when you need to Yeah, when you go when to you the next, die, so next, next, next phase next of stage, your life. Next stage, exactly. You need, so they say you must have a dog in your life, at least one dog in your life, mm -hmm. and love him, obviously, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you will require his help and he will be there to guide, to help you to cross that river. Exactly. So, a lot of similarities. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's more than a fun movie. It's, mm. it's a very good 
quick education in, in the Mexican culture. And that's why we wanted to do it, uh, because Magda is getting more and more encrossed in the Indian culture. Um, you would have seen our vlog where Magda cooked really nice Indian food for me. Shamla um, Mich... Mich Ali. Shimla Mirchi. Shimla Mirchi, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's still learning how to pronounce it. She cooks it perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good at cooking, but sometimes the pronunciation is hard. <laughs> exactly. Hey, well, you get so do make sure you watch that vlog and do make sure you watch our vlogs. We are doing a lot of um, uh, videos about our life, how it is generally, and how we. Um, we coming from different cultures or different, you know, different countries. We are we are kind of, kind of living together. So it was love that bonded us initially, and now it's it's the love for the culture, love yeah. for the food, love for the music that's exactly. binding us together. So yes. do make sure you follow us on that as well. The videos we keep posting videos once a week. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, this would be a longer video than what we'd expected, mm -hmm. but uh, it was uh, something good. Um, so we do hope you enjoy uh, this video. Please make sure you follow us on our journey. Um, uh, we try and reply to as many of you as quickly as we can. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we really appreciate you following us. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, on that note, mm -hmm. thank you very much for watching our video. And we will see you next time. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hasta luego.